Ming and simulation is another interesting one. The human mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and it is Im what is imagined. As long as it believes it to be true, it acts out as if it were true. So if you lost your keys, or if you imagined you've lost your keys, you look for them until you find them. I remember <laughs> I grew up in Eastlands. So those who remember those many years ago used to have Kenya bus. Kenya bus, the bus used to leave Isili in the morning, very early and then do the circuits, the different routes across the city. It was a whole network. Eh? So those early buses, the pickpockets would board the buses Isili, and sit at the back seat because the buses would fill up completely. I know Gen Z, this is a uh, story of eh? <laughs> So the bus would fill completely. So when the bus is fully full, then guys are even hanging out because guys are standing and all. The pickpockets, the pickpockets would wake, stand up and now start their work. Okay? And their modus operandi was very simple. First they would announce, na mchunge hii basi ikona? Ikona wezi ama pickpocket. What's the first thing you do when you hear that? <laughs> you, you make sure that your, your wallet is where you left it. Eh? But what are you doing to the pickpockets? You are showing them where the wallet is. <laughs> then they would work their way from the back to the front, picking pockets, and then they would pick pockets and drop the wallet in the next available pocket. Eh? <laughs> then when they are done, they are talking about Mwisho. They say, now, Niloa Mchunge, Mtsilambia, you guys, you guys, you guys, So you again now check. But now this time when you check, it is not. The next thing you do is, then you find. But the one you find is not yours. So sometimes they don't even have to stop the bus to ask, hey, you're not getting <laughs> Okay? But the human mind, if it believes something 